this is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by a victorious pro debutant, Cyrus Ramon. <laughs> Ramon! Uh, Patson, how do you feel after that? Oh, I started to come absolutely over the moon. Uh, like, you kind of almost forget what the atmospheres are like, being a year out watching sports and stuff, and especially the boxing, but didn't disappoint when I did it. Always pressure around a pro debut, the, the, especially with fans in as well tonight, obviously, to get a st stoppage, because that's probably playing on your mind as well. But tonight you had to kind of be a little bit patient, yeah. but get the right result and obviously a stoppage at the same time. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was trying to look good as well, getting the win. Uh, I mean, I was calm and calculated all week. We've been, we've been patient and we've been uh, settled. But in that in the tunnel there when everyone starts cheering and stuff and you hear the music, it's very, very hard to stay composed. Like, and, and it was a kid you opening round, you're stepping through with your shots, changing your stance and stuff, what made it a little bit awkward. Oh, but once, uh, once, once we settled down and stuff, I started finding the range, walking them onto shots. It's sort of come together, like, so I'm happy. If people can hear what's going on in the background, Alan Babbage is fighting, I don't know what's going on because we're doing this interview. Um, but Cyrus, ultimately as a whole, um, like I said, a lot of anticipation around your pro debut, but you can't really grumble about too much that occurred tonight. No, I would I could have, would have been happy I were a smoother first round, but it was a game opponent. It was a sixth round, six round fight on paper. He's uh, six fights, he's won four, he's stopped two. Uh, he's been eager for it all week, press conference, win. He's been up for it, so uh, he wasn't going to be on the back foot. He was coming to, coming to give it a go. Uh, so it was never always going to be smooth sailing, so um, I was happy with how it went. I would like to bring in Charlie Sims, if that's okay. Big man Charlie. Big yes. man Charlie. Yes. Charlie Sims, um, yeah, the very impressive pro debut of Cyrus Patterson tonight. You must have been pleased. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it was great. Um, he had great support. I thought you come out very sharp, and then once you slowed yourself down, Thought you looked great. Started putting them together. Didn't really want to know, did he? After no. a few body shots sunk in, no. so couldn't have gone any better, really. No, and just like you said, like family here, back in Newcastle. I know it took a year, but mm. couldn't have started any better, really, no. did it? Spot on. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, we've not actually spoken about this on camera, but for yourselves, um, to acquire a talent like Cyrus must have been a real coup for you. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I've known Cyrus for six years. I've been speaking to him. Since he's been on GB for a long time, I always knew he was a good talent. I've watched him spar and I've watched him box all the world's best in the amateur scene. So when he wanted to turn pro, 100%, I wanted to, be, I wanted to work with him. And um, I think we're going to have some really exciting nights in Newcastle. Probably a question for you rather than you, but to progress him quickly, I suppose the age he's at, there's not really a massive rush to kind of push him forward that quickly, but it's just right fights at the right time, get the rounds in and yeah. building himself up to some sort of title level. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I'd like to go the traditional route. Um, I think he could do with getting out again. Um, he had like a couple of years out, obviously, due to COVID. So he got a bit of ring rust off tonight, but I'd like to see him have a week off, back in the gym, start sorting out another date with Eddie and then uh, getting back out there. But he's a good fighter. He's the right age. He'll be in his prime. So start moving him quickly and more towards the sort of British route, definitely. Saw you talking to Eddie Hearn after your fight. What did he say to you, Cyrus? No, I was just really happy with the performance and the result, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was happy about the support as well. He was there, he mentioned that there was there should have been a lot more support here tonight. I know that there's been so many people upset back at home watching, but uh, that's all to come next year or maybe it's later in the year if we can get another fight up in the northeast. There's uh, some big nights ahead, isn't there? Uh, oh, have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish? Uh, just thank you for for my team. Thank you, Charlie, to Graham Rutherford. To everyone from the Bertie Gym, my sponsors, my family, every, all the support that came here and, and showed love tonight, like, uh, really means a lot. And Charlie, I'm sure I'll be seeing you on Monday. Yep, seeing you Monday, some big announcements coming. Um, obviously, fight camp's coming up, so we've got a big announcement coming on Monday, so looking forward to seeing you there, man. At the party. At the party, that is apparently is just a professional event, but we all know how it's going to go. <laughs> There we go, there we go, Charlie Timms and uh, Cyrus Patterson. Thank you very much for to IFL TV. Congratulations on the win and, like I said, we'll catch up with you with some more announcements regarding fighters you're involved with on Monday. Cheers, Coogs. Thank Thanks, you very man. much, Coogs. Thank you. <laughs>